Right now, people in Houston are saying their final goodbyes to President Bush. He'll lie in repose at St. Martin's Episcopal Church until tomorrow morning. And that's where we find KXAN's Steffi Lee now. Steffi. Well, President Bush and his wife, former First Lady Barbara Bush, died just about seven months apart. And their impact on our country and certainly the city of Houston is in everyone's hearts tonight. It's um, an honor to be able to be here to honor him. A symbol of respect for a president whose life was dedicated to respecting our country. Members of the military lined the entrance of the church as President George H.W. Bush was carried inside. It's intense. It, you know, he was a great president and he has a beautiful family and left a beautiful legacy. So it's really nice to be able to come and pay your respects. You know, they were just a very uh, humble family. Um, the greatness that they achieved never um, uh, deterred from their humility. And they, they always seemed like they felt privileged to be where they were. When his wife, former First Lady Barbara Bush, died, President Bush personally thanked the people who showed up. A large turnout in Houston then, and a large turnout now. When we came over here to the church, we were told that there were 4,000 people behind us and the number is growing. Yes. So they'll, they'll be here all night. Now, President Bush's funeral service is at 10 a.m. tomorrow. This is an invitation-only funeral service. And afterwards, he'll be carried by train to College Station. In Houston, Steffi Lee, KXAN News.